Before we go back to green, I want to show you guys some pictures back in the day. This picture was in 2005. This picture was in 2006. This picture was in 2008. This picture was last year. This one was in 2004. And this picture was in 2007. And we're back to the Daytona 500 for, for round 1 of 10 of the Masculine National Guard Cup Series. Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson will be the ones to watch. Yes, so is Trevor Bain. And they're off. And however, the last season's winner was Travis Squaffle. However, he did not come to the leg. He did not come to the he did, he did not come to the leg. And Jeff Gordon won the day 2500 a couple of times. But can he make it? But can he make it again? And I've been thinking. Here we come to the turn three four. Kislowski makes a move to the inside. And side by side for the lead with only five laps away from victory. Ryan Newman and Jeff Gordon. Ryan Newman moves to the inside as well. As Jeff Gordon might be might be coming in third third place in a minute. Here they come. Down the back straightway. There they come. Let's see what happens. Ryan Newman makes it Ryan Newman makes his way for the, Ryan Newman makes his way to first place in the inside line. We only got a few dodges in there. Trouble! Denny Hamlin crashes out like I'm a roller. I'm a upside down. Red flag is out. And flips back on its wheels. Wow. Oh my goodness. Denny Hamlin and the FedEx Freight and Alcamarola 43 will make it a triumphant. Was trying to get a triumphant victory here at Daytona. Was trying to get a triumphant victory here at Daytona. <sighs> but unfortunately, their wishes failed. We'll be right back after this. I know bells and horses, not X and O's. I do O2 sensors, not defenses. We're back to the annual winning day 2500, the Great American Race. We're going to Green Flag with only two more laps remaining. As this first question is sponsored by Home Depot. And I want you guys to know that Joy Logano did not also came to this leg. So when we get to the second race, We might gonna have to help we might gonna have to hold him back for qualifying. But he'll be in the race in this 2011 Home Depot. And I'll guarantee you that. Right now I wanna tell you guys something. Jamie Mc, Jamie McMurray and Danica Patrick are fighting for the win. Yes. But back in 2006 and 8, they had these they had these wall they had these signs in the grass says Saying day twenty five hundred fifty and sixty years, but we passed that. That was like about 
seven and six weeks ago, and it's seven and six years ago. But now, this is going to be perfect. I'll tell you guys something. In the last race at Homestead Miami Speedway, race 10 of 10, which is only like about nine races remaining, this, this legend will compete. But I'm telling you guys right now, Danica Patrick last year made history. And I'm telling you guys something, Jeff Gordon on the front row award, but close. But Danica Patrick was the fastest. And Kurt Busch made history in 2011 in the Bud Shootout. But can he make it again? Here we go. As they're off for two laps to go. Caution from the red flag. Jimmy McMurray and Danica Patrick fight back, fight for the lead. Well, Kurt Busch, David Wickman, Frank Keaty, and Harvick are trying to get ahead of the, trying to get ahead of them instead of them both winning the list and it might just be turning into a filthy one afterwards. Here come trouble with the 10 spin that gets airborne. Oh, wow. They and McMurray flips over as well. Wow. And they will not, and however, they will not begin, they will not win this race. Let's see that Kevin Harvey, Kurt Busch, Carl Edwards, Austin Dillon, or Jimmy Johnson. Kurt Busch takes the lead and gets a little loose from the double zero. As it comes down to back straight, Kevin Harvick side by side with him. to the outside and probably Kevin Harvick because he got a head start on the outside line. Yep, I had to admit it was Kevin Harvick this time, but wait, let me check first. Who went across that line first? This might be the closest finish ever. And this might be Harvick's Memorial 2007 or 2014. Yep, Kevin Harvick wins. And Kurt Busch was so close. And there he comes doing his burnouts in the infield grass. Next up, we'll be at the Richmond International Raceway.